Hi everyone. Uh, right, I finished the inside, well, near, near enough, of uh, the book that I was making. And I've made it into kind of like a lab workroom type of thing. Um, I have taken still shots, so you will be able to see it. Um, but uh, we've got a little skeleton dangling here. Kept it on the earring so that it just pokes through the roof. Through the frill of the roof here. Um, up there. Now let me just see if I can get this oh, in the light. Right, not much. <laughs> but you can see there, there are some uh, potion bottles at the top and whatever. Um, there's a clock in the background um, and let me just show you here I'm not sure if you can just see there there is an eye that actually closes when the uh, book's laid down um, just put some wires uh, coiled wire some glasses because obviously uh, scientists wear glasses um, I had a little kettle there because it's a mixture of his home as well Um on here some uh, bits and pieces with wires going across coiled wire underneath this is under the table where he throws all his bits in there's a skull uh, this is a, a dome and in the dome is two eyes like I said the clock's behind this is he has to have a sink to do his uh, cleaning and whatnot so we've got a little sink here and I've put a little flannel on it and at the side on a hook we've got a towel more coiled water, uh, wire just laying about. A mad scientist would have things like that, wouldn't they? Just laid about. Uh, in this section here, another room, there's a little curtain, a um, little spoon with a pot. And then in there, there are some... Uh, what are they? Oh, there's a cup and saucer and another bottle. Uh, in this section, he's got his tools on the wall which are the, um, like a hammer, some scissors, um, and another bottle, like a metal bottle at the back. Here's a bottle at the front with another eye on and some coral wire going off there into this tube here. Just added a key with a bit of uh, pearly bling. Uh, down in this section is his own stuff, which is, you know, cups and saucers. Um, there's a mug up there teapot, iron and then down on the base side of it this is a fan uh, and then a skull in this section at the background he's got all like rushes and things like that dried grasses um, moss inside of this one and this is a ladder going up to the next flight uh, to the next level uh, and another skeleton and the skeleton's resting his foot on the jar I like that, though. it's cute. They were the earrings from yesterday's car boot. Uh, in this section I have added a door, it's got an eye there, some coiled wire, using a square brad for the door handle. In the back a clock. Here on the hook um, is some binoculars and there's a little bucket there. Another skull down there and a bottle in the background. Uh, and on the shelf, a couple of books on the shelf. Um, yeah, there's also in there, besides the hammer, the hammer's underneath, I'm not sure if you can see that. Besides the hammer is another bottle. Um, and like I say, there is an eye there, and the clock there. And then on the door, on the inside, is the um, science, mad scientist and his family. Um, with a clock. And then just here on the bottom section of the door, a couple of curtain ways, and I've used this light material mesh, uh, and all wires, just different wires, coiled wires, uh, that the mad scientist is going to use. Um, so I've almost finished it, not quite, but like I say, you will be able to see it properly on the, um, sorry about the shakiness, on the still pictures. Uh, and that's it for now. Um, I've got this to go over because I want a bit of texture. This is to the metal roof here. I just put it on each floor. Uh, apart from that one. That one hasn't got it on. Um, yeah, a bit of fun doing this one. 
that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.